Hi, Carrie Cutler here, author of Math Positive Mindsets, growing a child's mind without losing yours. And today my son Knox and I are doing an activity called Number Bond Bracelets. And all you need for this activity are pony beads. These are pony beads. They are really common in early childhood classrooms and some pipe cleaners. And what you do is the kids are gonna make some bracelets with a number of beads on them. And Knox, how many beads are on this bracelet? Can you count them for me? Okay, so how many beads is that? Six. All right, so now what happens, Knox, is we can see the numbers that make up the number six if we go like this. Oh, what does that show about the number six? One versus five. Oh, one and five. So we could make a little number bond representation. If we can get the oak thing open. Well, five and one. How is that so hard to open? I don't know, the lid was tight. Good, should we try one more? Show me another way that we can make six. Slide it. <gasps> five versus one. Oh! <laughs> that's still six. That's still six. That's the commutative property of addition. We can think about it as five and one or one and five. Awesome. They're equivalent. All right, do another one for me. One more. Different one. Show me a different one. Two. Oh, count them up. Double check. Wait. Three versus three. Three versus three. So the number six can also be made up of three and three like this. Right, Knox? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So this number bond idea is really important because it's about the composition and decomposition of numbers. How we can pull numbers apart and put them back together in flexible ways. That helps us commute, compute. Now, one key about this is you need to have just one color of beads on your bracelets. If you have several colors, it's really hard for kids to see any kind of breaking apart, decomposing, other than the color. It's really hard for them to accept that that could be a decomposition because color is such a strong attribute. Give this activity a try. It's great for helping kids learn about number composition and decomposition. Thanks.